I, uh, I've been touring a lot recently. I actually, um, I just got back from a month and a half long European tour. And um, I, I'll say this, I've performed in eight countries so far. I've only bombed in two. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, Belgium, great waffles. Everybody's dead inside. Uh, we didn't see eye to eye and I'm not going back. Uh, <laughs> But I want to tell you a story about uh, my most recent experience there, but you kind of have to know a little bit about me to understand the story. So what you need to know is that I'm a very anxious person. I've been anxious my whole life, and the only way that I've really learned to combat that anxiety is I am the most organized person you will ever meet. Like, just serial killer organized. This is how organized I am. I actually made the, the woman at the Brooklyn DMV smile when I went to register my car. This is the quick version of the story. Uh, my dad gifted me a car a couple of years ago so I could do the road more, and I had to get a New York license, register my car, and get New York plates, and he wasn't coming with me, and I had to do it all myself. So the night before, I just read the whole DMV website, and I filled out all the forms. <laughs> So the next day I went in, I told the woman what I needed to do, and she's like, well, you need to go in this line and fill out this form. And I was like, I did it. She's like, well, then you need to go in this line and fill out that form. And I was like, I did it. She's like, well, then you need to go in this line and fill out that form. I was like, I did it. And it's a gift, so I filled out this form. And I don't know what this is, but I filled it out too. <laughs> and, she, and she went, okay. <laughs> best moment of my life. I've been on TV, that was the best moment of my life. I think about it when I go to sleep. I loved it. <laughs> so that's what you're dealing with. I'm setting a scene. So uh, a couple months ago, I was doing shows in London, and I was going from the London Heathrow Airport to Finland to do a festival. The morning of the flight, I got up early. I cooked myself breakfast. I leisurely took the tube to Heathrow. I uh, sauntered through security. Everything went so amazing. I get to my gate. I show the woman my passport, and she goes, I'm sorry, you can't board the plane. And I was like, what? And she goes, we have a three-month rule. Your passport can't expire within three months. I look at my passport. I'm four days shy of three months. So I offered to do anything this woman needed me to do in a bathroom to make this flight. <laughs> she wasn't into it. I think I was a little too dark for her. Um, they're very blonde, very Aryan race. So I needed to go there. I was supposed to make a lot of money, so I decided to go to the U.S. Embassy. I jump in a cab. While I'm going there, I realize I probably need passport pictures. So I go to a post office. I get passport pictures. I would say the best way to describe these pictures is it looks like I just murdered my husband, and I'm not sure if I got away with it. Uh, I, it's just like mascara and sweat and panic all over my face. Those are my passport pictures. I take those. I run four blocks to the U.S. Embassy. I knock on a bulletproof door. I'm like, hey, I'm supposed to tell jokes in Finland, and they're not letting me in. And that was a, apparently a good enough reason to get an emergency passport appointment. So I go into the building. I tell the people what's going on. And this is where I found out I was American, because I complained to anybody that would listen. <laughs> told my story to everybody and they were amazing they were they were so good they were so comforting they're like i'm so sorry you're going through this um we, we got you fuck finland <laughs> they, i became patriotic in 10 minutes i was like oh my god i'm so glad i'm on u.s soil right now you guys get me it was amazing i got an emergency passport in 45 minutes 45 minutes. It went so easy. The only thing that was kind of scary is at the end, they told me, hey, we have to do this little like um, interview process and then we'll print your passport. And I was starting to get a little nervous for the interview because I wasn't sure what they were going to ask me. I figured it was going to be hard stuff like, why is my mom so angry? <laughs> or how many sexual partners have I had? Or like, how do you spell restaurant? Like shit I don't know. <laughs> but it wasn't like that at all. They just go, is all this true? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, Okay, we'll print it in 20 minutes. And I was like, I'm starting to understand why Finland doesn't trust our passport system. It's a little too easy. So I called the woman that booked me for the festival. I told her I had a new passport. She books me a new flight, but she almost booked me a flight too fast because now I'm running back to the airport. And I mean running. By the time I get in the airport, I have 20 minutes to go through security and make my flight. So I'm running. I'm running so fast that at one point I took a like a corner really wide so I wouldn't fall over with my backpack. So I take it so wide and I'm going so fast that this woman is coming with her luggage cart. I jumped clear over her luggage cart. I was inside a Home Alone movie just looking for somebody to help me with my life problems. And keep in mind, I'm organized. I've never done this before and I have always judged the airport runner. I have always judged them. I've always seen them running through the airport and I'm always like, why can't you just wake up on time? Why can't you get your life together? But as I'm doing this, I'm like, maybe the finish are ruining everybody's life. 
who am I to judge these people? So I'm running, I run, I see my gate, there's one person still in line, I'm starting to breathe easy, I go up to the guy, I hand him my passport, and he goes, I'm sorry, you can't board the flight. And I was like, what? He goes, this is an emergency passport, we don't accept these. And I was like, it's a government document. I didn't make it in the bathroom with paper mache and jizz. Like, <laughs> like why is everybody treating my passport like it's a shitty art project? And he's like, ma'am, you're gonna have to calm down. I was like, you're a 35 year old man. Has ever telling an adult woman in a public place to calm down ever worked out for you? <laughs> so I was like, could you call somebody? He's like, well, maybe we could call somebody. I was like, could you? Because I'm about to miss my second flight in four hours. Could you call somebody? I'm very charming. <laughs> so he starts making phone calls. I'm like, who are you calling? He's like, Helsinki. I was like, is that a dude? Um... <laughs> he makes four phone calls. The fourth phone call says I can board the flight. So I get on the flight. I sit down. It's a two and a half hour flight. Hour and a half of pure turbulence. Hour and a half. It was so turbulent that at one point the guy next to me actually turned to me and he looked so scared. And I think he wanted me to comfort him. Like he looked, I think he wanted me to hold his hand. He looked really scared. And all I did back was smile like a psychopath. <laughs> Cause all I could think was, of course I'm gonna die on this flight. I worked so hard to get here. I'm Liz Mealy, thank you so much.